everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you an easy eye tutorial using the Too Faced Peach Palette. It's one of my favorite palettes to be using right now and I just wanted to share with you guys a super easy look. If you guys are interested, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so the first step we're going to be doing is priming our lids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the Anti-Aging Formula. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over my lid. And then we're just going to pat this into the skin or on top of our lids. We are not going to swipe. We are just going to pat. Alrighty, and if it wasn't already obvious, today's look is going to be out of the Too Faced Peach Palette. I'm going to be showing you guys just like my go-to look with this palette. So now that the eyes are set, we're going to go ahead and take um, just a fluffy brush and I'm going to be using the color Peaches and Cream, this kind of just skin light color to just set that, um, to go ahead and set the eyeshadow. Now with this look, I'm just going to be going more natural. I'm going to be doing more glam looks soon. I just wanted to do something really simple with you guys using one of my favorite palettes, which is the Peach Palette. So just something super easy, nothing too hard, just kind of a more natural look, if you will. Alrighty, now that the lids are set, I'm going to be going in and with the color Puree in the crease with this Real Techniques kind of fluffy brush and just work that into the crease. And for me the biggest tip is to go in with a little bit of product and build up slowly because you can always add more product. It's really hard, especially with eyeshadow, to take it away. So it's always good to start off with a little bit and kind of build your way up. And just to make sure all the edges are seamless, I go ahead and take a brush that doesn't have any product and I go ahead and just make sure that everything is very seamlessly blended. No harsh edges, anything like that. Alrighty, so then I'm going to be going in with the color Summer Yum, which is this kind of, I'll show you guys that burnt, uh, kind of... It's like a brownie red and I'm gonna go ahead and take that in with a crease brush and just kind of melt that in to my crease just to define the look the outer crease just to define it and I always go in with the wind windshield wiper motion to really blend that in and like I said start with a little bit of product tap off the excess and add more as you see fit and this color is going to, see how it just, from this eye to this eye, it just kind of defines that crease and gives a little more dimension to the look. And like I said before, this is my absolute favorite um, kind of look with this palette. I want to experiment more and I will definitely be showing you guys in other videos. Alrighty, so if you guys can see, just give a little more dimension, and um, I love that little burnt, smoky kind of red look. It's really in right now, <laughs> so that's why I really like it. So then I'm going to go back in with that brush that doesn't have any product on it, and just like I said before, make sure everything is seamless. I'm still learning new makeup techniques, so um, I know that a really good thing is to just keep blending, make sure everything's really nice and seamless. Alrighty, so then the last step is going to be um, our lid shade, and I'm going to go in with the color Luscious, and going to go ahead and pack that on the lid. Excuse me. I'm a big fan of shimmer. I love shimmer, so I always like to put a pop of shimmer on the lid. I think it just gives more to the look. I don't know. It's just preference. I do like mattes, but... Especially with like the Too Faced palettes, they always have really good shimmers, and this luscious shade is my favorite. Mm 
Alrighty, and then the last step with the eyeshadow, at least for me, is um, if it's if the crease, the defining color, has gotten lost by the um, shimmer color, then I go ahead and just take that defining crease color one more time, and then just kind of retouch it up, just to make it seamless. Not like there's like a lid and then a, a definer, just like so everything's nice and seamless. And then once again, taking that brush with nothing on it, we're just gonna go ahead and make sure that everything is nice and blended. Alrighty, so now that we're done with our peach palette, we're gonna go ahead and go in with um, some liner and mascara. I'm just gonna do just a little bit of liner on the top, just so it gives a little bit to the eyes. No wings today, just cause it's a very subtle, easy look. So I'm just going to go ahead with my Stila um, Stay All Day Felt Tip Liner and go ahead and just line, um, line the top of my lid. Alright guys, now that the liner is on, we're just going to go ahead and finish it with um, the Better Than Sex Mascara Waterproof Formula on my top lashes. And for this, I just like to do two coats to really make sure the lashes are coated and all that good stuff. Alright you guys, I'm going to let this layer of mascara dry, I'm going to do one more, put some lipstick on, but other than that, this is the completed look. Alright you guys, this is the completed look, I hope you truly enjoyed, it's something super easy to do, um, I want to be doing more uh, dramatic looks in the future, but for now, just wanted to show you guys something super easy that I do with the Too Faced Peach Palette. Thank you guys again for all your love and support, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys!